you have entered the Chronics rabbit hole. And Baron Caro, thank you so much for your buy me an energy drink request. You are bringing down a band that we have seen on the rabbit hole before. And this band's name is Apocalyptica. The song, though, is called Bittersweet, and it is featuring Lori and Bill. Thank you so much, Baron Caro, for bringing Apocalyptica down the rabbit hole once again, featuring these two amazing singers. Thank you so much, Vet and Kiro, for bringing Apocalyptica back down the rabbit hole. I am so looking forward to this amazing band. They are probably the hardest playing quartet I have ever seen in my life, even before getting into the metal genre. And I'm so excited to see them with their featured singers, Lori Yelonen and Vil Valo. I can't wait to see what they have in store for us today. And I hope you are just excited as we are. And remember to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. We love everything that Apocalyptica has done. They get to do so many different types of music with being a quartet. So I'm excited to see what Bittersweet is all about and what these two lovely Finnish singers have in store for us. You ready? I'm ready. Okay. <laughs> This is really, really nice. I just kind of am curious. What are they using? Do you know? That's a Ouija board. It, that is just a straight up Ouija it's board? a straight up Ouija board table. Interesting. Ouija okay. table. What, what are you getting from this so far? Um. So he's trying to cast away bittersweet love or like the love. He's giving up the ghost of love that he once had. Right. So I, I'm, I'm taking the fact that possibly the person he has loved or something has either has passed away. Okay. Which is why he's usually using a Ouija board to try and contact them. Mm, I see. To, Th that's the connection I was looking for. Connection. Okay. Cool. So like, I'm thinking that the per the girl at the horse mm -hmm. um, has passed away or right. something has happened. Maybe she's missing. Right. Okay. Yeah, yeah. And so he's giving up the ghost of love mm -hmm. and he's trying to contact either some, the spirit who can tell her where she is if she's missing or her herself if she has passed. I see what you mean. And there's the two of them on either sides, uh, either sides of the table both doing this Ouija board aspect. Yeah. So they're either using the board together because you need two forms of spirit for like that seance aspect I of see. it. Yeah. Or they are two separate locations trying to find each other, but I'm not 100% sure on that one. But thanks, that still gives me a bit more to work with because I've, I've just been captivated by the actual cellos in this one. Oh, they are amazing. I love this band and the way they sound. They play way harder than I ever expect them to play. Mm -hmm. But they also pull it back to that almost original sound that they have as a quartet. And like, this is such a beautiful ballad. It is. And 
it's not as hard as what I was kind of expecting because of what we have heard in the past where they are going like full out yeah. and breaking Master their of bow, you know, Master of Puppets yeah. style. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so this is gorgeous and beautiful. I am um, still trying to pick up exactly what is saying, mm -hmm. being said lyric wise. I will admit, uh, based on names alone, Lori and Veal, I thought they were going to have two female singers. That's why I was about to say these two female, but then I was like, Finnish singers, because I didn't know if it was a guy or a girl. Absolutely. And so, um, ha like, I'm loving the deeper voices that yeah. are coming in. I think they suit it perfectly. I was expecting, you know, more operatic right off the bat, not mm -hmm. going to lie. Yeah, yeah. And having more, um, having that female tone. But I'm pleasantly surprised with where it has gone bittersweet somberness like absolutely in this video mm -hmm. style when it's older it really works well with apocalyptica because i get this older mm -hmm. feeling from them like old school style so let's check it out possessed they are possessed look at those eyes they went too deep they went too deep i loved how apocalyptica was playing on the ceiling yeah it but it, it makes me think the lengths that some people go when like someone is lost like pet cemetery is uh, one of the craziest horror films where he loses his son and then he finds out there's a resurrecting cemetery somewhere that you could put your kids in or animals and then they resurrect but they come back evil mm, i've actually never seen that movie that would be interesting so it's a very good concept and like the bittersweet love we've been there where someone has left you when you still love them as well so not even like if they've totally passed away but for you they've passed away and there's some way you're trying to reach to them and you're looking for a spell that can break that bittersweet love because love at the beginning is always tasty like honey going down, but sometimes it can leave you with that bitterness in your gut. Absolutely. I, I agree with that 100%. And I loved like how they had their eyes blacked out, like the demon eyes at the end, because that's so true. Like you're, when you're trying to get to something and you are so consumed by your grief yeah, that you'll take any action, no matter how wrong or um what the no matter what the repercussions may be yeah yeah the ends justify the means for you when you're trying to get that love absolutely yeah. and so like it was interesting watching them the two guys going at tr the ouija board table yeah trying to find out all the information it's like this is bittersweet and i need to know i have to know yeah. i have to be able to either get past this or know what happened and the entire time that they're going with that ouija board and the candles are flickering you can see like the um fire going out and then coming back with like the entrance of the spirit and or whatever it may be but then you'll see the woman who's like running through the forest, trying to get away. There's a storm happening. But then she's out there with this, um, like... Yeah, some weird... The almost wings. looked like a wicker type of thing. It looked almost like wicker, but yeah. I could think of it. It was like, it gave me, um, 
vibes of like being you know those things you put on top of your house for if there's a big storm like and the lightning were to strike it like a lightning rod she was oh. dressed like a lightning rod okay okay like almost grabbing, to be concentrated at so yeah so it concentrates the lightning into a lightning rod i see what you mean yeah. and so and then it showed her as a ghost at the end yeah. wearing all white and like laying in that bed for that forever slumber and so it it made me question like what happened and that's what i was getting from this song is this these guys are trying to find out what happened right I guess it's you. not like it's like yes she passed she's gone but, but how, how? Yeah. what happened yeah and sometimes that question of what happened and why can are, turn you evil more they can turn you <laughs> evil more because you just want to know the truth so badly yeah that you can't accept that regardless of the truth or what it is they're gone they're gone yeah absolutely that's that's well said and what i love about apocalyptica is i can never tell if it's their own or a cover so like please let me know mm -hmm. if bittersweet is their own song and then they got people featuring to like help them sing because i know none of them sing mm -hmm. we've seen them do like master of puppets we've seen them do so which is metallica we've seen them do rumstein yes we so have. like i i would just like to know if this is like their own song because i also think that's cool to know what they're original stuff is so you guys can let us know in the comments below with that question if you guys had a good time with us though you can hit the like button and subscribe if you are new to the edge of the chronic family but we are now exiting the rabbit hole folks don't use a ouija board on us <laughs> thank you so much for all being here with us during this amazing performance it was such a mournful sorrowful ballad that i absolutely loved it i also loved how they were playing upside down on the ceiling i don't know exactly how they filmed that but the fact that their hair was actually falling down right, yeah. you know they were playing upside down weird eh? so i'm really well, curious to know how that happened how they did that um recording maybe if they have a beside behind the scenes video you could let us know what it is in the comment section or you could post it in the video links in our discord absolutely so thank you all again for being here with us. It's absolutely amazing. Thank you, Ver and Kiro, for bringing this down the rabbit hole. Peace and love, everyone. God bless y'all. Take care, and bye for now. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more Enter the Chronicness. Special thanks to all of our YouTube, Patreon, and Buy Me a Coffee members. Thank you for all of your support.